Well, check this out here. People in Southern California got a belated white Christmas on Monday. Whoa, hold on. Southern California gets snow, but we don't? Oh, okay, this is 5,000 feet up, so it actually does snow. Near Los Angeles, a lot more than people realize, but again, this is only upper elevations. But this is part of the, the same storm system that is headed toward Arkansas later this week, and we know some of you have already been seeing a snowflake on your weather apps, but Scott is all about the computer models, like getting us the actual forecast, knowing what's going to happen. I know this can be super confusing for people. What What's really going on, Scott? It, not only is it confusing, but I know, and I'm, I'm an outlier here, I know everyone wants it to snow. You want it to snow, you want to see it just like what we just saw in California. So when you see that icon, you get your hopes up, and the problem with that is all of that's just model driven. There's no human actually looking at the data to say that's wrong. That model is underperforming here or maybe it's over calculating the temperature here. So uh, the point here being is we can throw out models all day long. I can show you a model that shows a category five hurricane hitting Washington State in a month, but the fact is we know that's not realistic. It's not true. The key here is you got to have a human to actually interpret the model data to look at it, to inspect it, to ask questions, and that's where you get a forecast from. Model data is just that. It's just a tool. I don't just throw up model data and say that's the forecast. You got to interpret it and you got to change the numbers. You got to make sure that it's actually accurate. So Amanda, Rob, you know, I know you're always looking for the snow. I know you are. I get it. I get it. The, the reason we're talking about this today is a few days ago, almost like a week ago, we started seeing some of these snow maps. You guys see them all over Facebook and yeah. Twitter. Yeah, people those, sharing them and yeah. yeah. Those are a meteorologist nightmare because right. they're unfiltered. It's bad data. Uh -huh. Again, I can show you a model that shows you anything you want to see. There are a dime a dozen right. and you just post it on the internet. It causes a lot of problems reason this is relevant is that system, it's not going to bring snow to Arkansas. Right. So okay. we shared those maps last week, or some yeah. folks shared those maps last yeah. week, but you, you can see it's all <laughs> rain. It's all green. Yeah. It's all going to be rain. Well, Scott, quite, how, you say there's so many different models that can show anything. How many models are there that you guys have to deal with on oh, a daily man. basis when trying to, to combine your forecast? Dozens. Now, of course, there's okay. the top three that we look at primarily, the European, which is the gold standard. It's by far one of the more accurate ones, the, the American model, and then we've got the global GFS. And so we look at those, and even within in those actual models, there's uh, breakouts that alter some of the factors that give us a better idea. So dozens of models of data to go through, and they can all be very different. In fact, with this actual system here, it didn't really get a good handle on it until like yesterday morning. And so that's where a human to come in and interpret the data and say, I think the NAM is uh, it's drinking something and it's not actually accurate, right? Or you say the European, you know, uh, maybe the European's actually accurate. So, you know, the key here is as we go into the winter months and you see those snow maps, use caution, use some skepticism. Don't get too excited. Don't get, Don't too get excited. your hopes up. Yeah, we'll let you know right here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Scott. You sound yeah. so smart. Well, because he is. You're so way smart. smarter than Gosh. Rob and I. We're, we don't, well, know I don't know any of this that. stuff. I don't know about that. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Brilliant. Five, <laughs> 627. <laughs> the There's wipers. those windshield wipers again. I, I climbed the tower and I installed it because you kept complaining about it being all wet all the time. How am I just now learning about these? I just That's installed pretty cool. It. Who gets to turn those I'm on? Smart. Is there a button? 627. Can I? Back in more Wake Up Central. <laughs>